what's up everybody this is tech g back with another video and in this video i'm going to be explaining to you every single thing that it takes to become a network administrator so let's get into it all right so in the modern world businesses and organizations they rely heavily on technology to perform their daily operations and at the core of this technological reliance is the computer network which connects systems, facilitates communication, and ensures data is accessible and secure. And the individuals responsible for maintaining these networks, they are known as network administrators. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the role of the network administrator, explore their duties, essential skills, and the career path that one can follow to enter this vital profession. All right, so exactly what is a network administrator? So this is an IT professional that is responsible for managing and maintaining computer networks within an organization. Their primary role is to ensure that the network operates efficiently, reliably, and securely. And network administrators, they oversee various types of networks, including local area networks, wide area networks, intranets, and extranets. And they work in various settings, such as corporate offices, educational institutions, government agencies, and healthcare facilities. Network administrators, they are essentially the backbone of IT departments as they ensure that all network components such as routers, switches, firewalls, and wireless access points function optimally. And they also handle network related issues, perform routine maintenance, and implement upgrades to enhance network performance and security. So the role of a network admin encompasses a wide range of duties and responsibilities. And here are some of the core tasks that they perform. So they set up new network hardware, including routers, switches, firewalls, and wireless access points. They configure network settings to ensure optimal performance and security, and they implement network management and monitoring tools to oversee network operations. They perform regular maintenance to keep network devices and systems updated. They monitor network performance to identify and resolve issues promptly, and they conduct network health checks and ensure compliance with organizational policies. Another responsibility is network security. So they implement security measures to protect the network from unauthorized access, malware, and cyber attacks. They configure firewalls, intrusion detection, and prevention systems, and VPNs to safeguard the network. And they conduct security audits and vulnerability assessments to identify and mitigate risks. They diagnose and resolve network-related issues reported by users or detected through monitoring tools. They provide technical support to users experiencing network connectivity problems, and they document issues and resolutions to create a knowledge base for future reference. They plan and execute network upgrades to improve performance and support new technologies. They optimize network configurations to enhance efficiency and reduce latency. They evaluate and recommend new hardware and software solutions. They implement and manage backup solutions to ensure data is securely backed up. They develop and test disaster recovery plans to minimize downtime in case of a network failure. And they ensure data integrity and availability through regular backup and recovery recovery drills. And here's another responsibility that they do, and that is documentation and reporting. So they maintain detailed documentation of network configurations, changes and procedures. They generate reports on network performance, security incidents, and maintenance activities. They keep inventory records of network hardware and software assets. They ensure the network complies with industry standards, regulations, and organizational policies. They stay informed about the latest developments in network technologies and best practices, and they implement implement and enforce network usage policies to maintain a secure and efficient network environment. So to excel as a network admin, individuals, they must possess a combination of technical skills, problem solving skills, and interpersonal skills. And here are some of the essential skills and qualifications that are required for this role. So the first one is obviously you have to have technical skills. So you need a deep understanding of networking concepts, protocols, and topologies. You need experience with network hardware, such as routers, switches, firewalls, and wireless access points. You need to be familiar with various operating systems, including including Windows, Linux, and Mac. You need to have knowledge of security principles, firewalls, VPNs, intrusion detection and prevention systems, and encryption techniques. And you also need to have an ability to write scripts using PowerShell or Python to automate network tasks and improve efficiency. 
And here are some more essential skills that you need to have. So you need to have strong analytical skills to diagnose and resolve complex network issues. You need to have attention to detail so that you can identify potential problems and implement effective solutions. And you need to be able to critically think and make informed decisions while under pressure. You also need to have effective communication skills to interact with colleagues, management, and external vendors. You need to have the ability to explain technical concepts to non-technical users in a clear and concise manner. And you need to have strong teamwork and collaboration skills to work effectively with other IT professionals. When it comes to the certification and educational aspect, if you go look at a typical job posting, they're going to say something like you need to have a bachelor's degree in computer science, information technology, or a related field. That is not 100% true, but that is what you will often see on job postings. But don't let that deter you from trying to become a network administrator. When it comes to the certification path, so you need to have industry certs like the CompTIA Network Plus, the Cisco Certified Network Associate, or the CCNA, and another one you can have is the Microsoft Certified Azure Network Engineer because these types of search, they can enhance your job prospects and demonstrate your expertise. But ultimately, what is the most important factor in becoming a network administrator is your experience level. So practical experience through internships, entry level positions or hands on projects. This type of stuff is invaluable and experience with network management tools, monitoring systems and security solutions. This can also help you possibly attain a position as a network administrator. All right, so moving on, let's talk about career paths and opportunities for network admins. So a career as a network admin, this offers numerous opportunities for growth and advancement. So here's a typical career path and the potential progression for network administrators. So starting off at the entry level, you can start off as a network technician, a help desk support technician, or a junior network administrator. And this will allow for you to gain practical experience in network installation, configuration, and troubleshooting. When you want to move up to a mid-level position so you can take on roles such as a network administrator, a system administrator, or a network analyst. And this will allow for you to gain more responsibilities, including network security, optimization, and project management. You have senior level positions, so moving into senior roles like a senior network administrator, network manager, or network architect, those are available out there. And what these people do, they typically lead network projects, design complex network infrastructures, or they oversee the entire network operations. And then we have various specialized roles, so pursuing specialization in areas such as network security, wireless networking, or cloud networking. This will allow for you to become a subject matter expert in specific technologies or industries. There are also other advanced and leadership roles, which will allow for you to transition to positions like an IT manager, IT director, or a CTO. And if you get one of these positions, essentially you'll be overseeing entire IT departments, setting strategic goals, and driving technological innovation. All right, so next let's talk about the importance of network admins in modern organizations. So network admins, they do play a critical role in ensuring the smooth operation and security of an organization's IT infrastructure. And their contributions, they are vital for several reasons. And the first reason is operational efficiency. So network admins, they ensure that networks run efficiently, minimizing downtime and maximizing productivity. And they also optimize network performance, which enables employees to access resources and collaborate seamlessly. Then we have security and data protection. So network admins, they do implement robust security measures to protect against cyber threats and data breaches, and they ensure that sensitive information is secure and compliance requirements are met. Then we have innovation and adaptation. So network admins, they stay updated with the latest technological advancements and integrate new solutions to enhance network capabilities. And they also support the adoption of emerging technologies such as cloud computing, IoT, and virtualization. There's the cost management factor. So by maintaining and optimizing network infrastructure, network admins, they do help control costs and avoid unnecessary expenditures. And they plan and implement cost-effective solutions that align with organizational goals. And then another aspect is disaster recovery and business continuity. So network admins, they develop and implement disaster recovery plans to ensure business continuity in case of network failures. And they regularly test back up and recovery procedures to minimize data loss and downtime. 
Now let's talk about some of the challenges that are faced by network admins. So despite the rewarding nature of the job, network admins do face several challenges in their roles. First one being security threats. So the ever evolving landscape of cyber threats, this requires network admins to stay vigilant and proactive in securing networks. They must constantly update security measures and respond to emerging threats. Then there's complexity and scalability. So modern networks, they can be highly complex with numerous devices, protocols, and configurations. And scaling networks to accommodate growth and new technologies, this can add to the complexity. There's downtime and reliability. So ensuring network reliability and minimizing downtime, this is a forever constant challenge. So network administrators, they must quickly diagnose and resolve issues to maintain uninterrupted services. You have resource constraints, so limited budgets and resources. This can impact the ability to implement desired upgrades and enhancements. So network admins, they must find cost effective solutions without compromising quality and performance. And then we have rapid technological changes. So the fast paced nature of technology, this requires continuous learning and adaptation. The network admins, they must stay updated with industry trends, new tools and best practices. All right, so let's move on to the most important part of this whole presentation. How much money do network admins typically make? The average salary of a network administrator typically ranges between $60,000 and $90,000 a year in the U.S., depending on factors such as experience, certifications, education, and location. Entry-level positions, they often start out at around $50,000, while experienced admins in large organizations or specialized roles, they can earn upwards of one hundred thousand dollars per year and certifications like CompTIA Network Plus, CCNA, and Microsoft Azure Administrator Associate, this can significantly boost earning potential and the salaries that can also vary by industries with tech, finance, and healthcare sectors typically offering higher compensations. So becoming a network admin, this typically takes about two to four years, depending upon the chosen educational and career path. So if you go the education path and you decide to get an associate's degree, this could be like a two year program in networking, IT or related field. And that'll oftentimes be sufficient for an entry level role. You have bachelor degree programs and this can take you at least four years to get a degree in computer science, information technology or some other related field. And this is typically more comprehensive. If you decide to go the certification route, so earning certs like CompTIA Network Plus, CCNA, or Microsoft Azure, this can take an additional few months of preparation, but it can significantly boost your employability. Then we have the experience factor. So many employers, they do see candidates with at least one to three years of IT support or networking experience. And this can be gained through internships, entry-level IT jobs, or even doing some hands-on lab activities. So in total, combining education, certifications, and experience. It may take two to five years to become a fully qualified network administrator, but those with prior IT experience or certifications, they can shorten this timeline. All right, so to wrap all of this up, Network administrators, they are the backbone of the IT world by ensuring that the networks we rely on every single day are secure, efficient, and reliable. Their role encompasses a wide range of responsibilities from installing and configuring network hardware to troubleshooting issues and implementing security measures. With the right combination of technical skills, problem-solving abilities, and communication skills, network admins can build rewarding careers with numerous opportunities for growth and specialization. So as technology continues to evolve, the demand for skilled network admins will remain strong. And by staying informed about the latest developments in networking and continuously honing their skills, aspiring network admins can make significant contributions to the success of their organizations and advance in their careers. So whether working in a corporate office, a government agency, or a healthcare facility, network admins are essential to maintaining our digital world.